Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be very interesting because the questions are really crazy and intense. This will be an eight question reading. This reading will be for Mark Weens. Also, before I begin, because the questions are gonna be really provocative, let me just say that this is all allegedly and for entertainment purposes. I have to say that because of YouTube. Now let's begin. The first question is, do Mark Weens love his wife? Let's see, that's a good question. Does Mark Weens love his wife? Yeah, he sees his wife as a goddess, believe it or not. Um, I'm gonna be real though. This has to do with um, spell work. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. I gotta call it as it is. Um, this is showing me that the reason why he's like involved with her is because she done spell work on him very deep. See with this promotions, this passion offers stability, wealth, new ideas, my career. This is a woman that came to this situation with strategy. You know what I mean? Not just that it's showing me that they do have some sort of arrangement happening. But this isn't an organic situation that just happens spontaneously. This is showing me that this lady is a witch, <laughs> basically. Let's see what this deck shows. I have five decks out, but I'm just going to be pulling to it at will. At random, rather, excuse me. What this Four of Pentacles is showing me, this is deep, right? Because the force has to do with the home. You know what I mean? And if you look at this situation, this lady, she's not tripping off of, um, I know this is a guy, but this is the lady's energy that I'm getting. She's not tripping off of the love situation. You know what I mean? This is all about the money. You know what I mean? The home in this situation has to do with the money. Also, let me turn off the, um, turn on my hotspot. Okay, it's on. Not my hotspot. He's calling it the hotspot. The, um, airplane mode. That loud airplane in the sky just made me think like, oh shit, I need to turn my airplane mode list on. I hate when I receive calls and shit when I'm doing this. Okay, so we already know what that situation's about. <laughs> so the next question is, does Mark Weens cheat on his wife? Ooh, that's a good question. Let's see. This is a lot of um, cards, but I'm gonna take it. It's really insightful. This is showing me that their marriage, it has a lot of arguments, that the arguments play a significant role as far as the actions that he takes. You know what I mean? Cause this is a guy that's on guard. Not just that, it's showing me that shit is really tense. You know what I mean? Because it's not a love situation. So it's like, yeah, he might see her as a goddess because it's sh it was showing me like, kind of like him being hypnotized. But at the same time, it is what it is. It's kind of just like, you know, if the souls don't click, there's going to be strife. So this is showing me that there's definitely strife in their situation. Again, with this Knight of Swords, hmm, the... Direction that this knight is facing is about like the future and all of that. He's not facing back. If he was facing back, it would show me that he's focused on the home. You see this structure here. He's not focused on the home. You know what I mean? He's trying to insert his sword into other situations. <laughs> so this is showing me that, yeah, he has stepped out. You know what I mean? But what keeps him um, like coming back is the money ties the money situation the fact that this is a page of pentacles this guy does not want to start over this guy does not want to lose any of his resources you know what i mean it's a complacency because it's kind of just like when i see this car this kind of reminds me of like a war zone i mean i know it's kind of just like dark and it has like all this smoke but it's kind of just like the ashes after devastation this guy doesn't want to deal with the trauma he doesn't want to deal with the conflict you know what i mean this is also an energy of strategy as well you see how this lady she's like thinking and shit she's like hmm what am i going to do with this money so this guy he's concerned with his strategy you know what i mean but this two of swords is showing me he goes back and forth 
one minute he's kind of just like in his lower animal nature then the next is kind of just like okay i need to like be smart i gotta like get shit right so i mean that's what's being shown to me with this queen of wands this is deep right because it goes back to that same energy that i'm getting as far as i was getting that like his wife is <laughs> into some sort of like witchcraft whatever so you know what i mean that's playing a huge role in this situation as well you know what i mean with this king of pentacles is showing me i'm getting a strong energy that he really wants to leave he really wants to do other things so it's kind of just like yeah you know what i mean it's multiple things going on because i know it kind of seems like a contradiction but it's kind of just like you know, this is real life, so one moment he is kind of just, like, obsessed with the lady for whatever reason, what witchcraft reason, but then it's kind of just, like, I guess when that wears down or wears off, it's kind of just like, fuck, I want to leave, but then it's kind of just like that money situation. It's like this guy is holding a stop sign. The king of pentacles, because the kings, they're the mastery of um, their position, or they're the masters of their position. So it's kind of just like this guy, he's the king of pentacles. He's about his money. You know what I mean? He's about his image. He understands what, like the possibilities if he leaves and what that's going to do as far as his resources are concerned. So it's kind of just like, yeah, he's cheating, but this is showing me that it's really low key. I'm going to be real with you guys. It's like really low key. It's kind of just like, yeah, I'm picking up the energies that he's cheating. But this is a type of situation that where it's really low key. Like he's not being disrespectful about it. He's not like, fuck you, I'm cheating. It's not that type of situation. It's kind of just like an unspoken rule. Like, um, what was that expression? Um, don't ask, don't tell. It's kind of like that arrangement. It's kind of just like, they know, they both know shit's going down, but it's kind of just like, don't ask, don't tell. It's like, they do not want to rock the boat is what I'm getting. So, I mean, that's really deep. <laughs> so let's see. Um, this is going to be a really deep question. Is Mark Wayne's a psychopath? So let's see, a controversial question. Is Mark Weens a psychopath? He's not, I don't know, it's kind of like deep, right? Cause a psychopath, they don't really have control. So this is showing me, it's kind of just like, and the fact that it's sideways, it's kind of just like, yeah, he doesn't, how do I say it? He has particular natures to himself that's really dark, right? He definitely has dark natures to himself. He definitely have um, skeletons in the closet, right? But you see how this guy has his shield and he has his sword? This Mark Weens, he's kind of like fully in control. So it's kind of just like, yeah, he has that particular dark aspect to him. I don't know if we all do or not. That's a good question. Cause I just thought about that myself right now, but I think we all kind of have like a certain kind of like level <laughs> of being a psychopath, I guess. Um, but this guy, yeah, he has shit wrong with him, but he tries to control it. The fact that this is sideways, though, it felt sideways, is showing me that it's a real challenge for him. So this is deep. It's kind of just like he tries to keep his mind under control. You see, with this white headband. It's kind of just like he tries to keep his minds and his thought under his mind and his thoughts under control, but it's a real issue for him. Let's get a deeper look with this deck and see what it has to show. Yeah, this is a um good reading. <laughs> So the two cards that I know it's like multiple cards that fell out, but the two that showed that I don't have to like go in order because it already showed is the um, intuition and this exaltation. So it's kind of just like, hmm. The Hierophant is a religious situation. You know what I mean? I don't know what his faith is. You know what I mean? Because I don't follow the guy. These are just the questions I have. And I'm just like answering them. But what this is showing me is that he uses sort of like religion. He uses life is what I'm getting. He uses work. 
to keep things under wrap. You know what I mean? Because the Hierophant is a religious energy. You know what I mean? It has to do with kind of like discipline. It has to do with control. But again, with this um, exaltation, this hermit, it's an issue for him. It's definitely an issue for him. Not just that. It's kind of just like if he gets into a fight with his lady, he loses control. You know what I mean? And then that like psychopathic nature comes out. You know what I mean? So it's kind of just like, yeah, he's a psychopath. But he's a, a self-controlled psychopath. Let's see what this next card is about. The Knight of Swords. This is a deep energy, right, with this penetration, because it's kind of just like, the Knight of Swords is kind of like a sudden energy, like the Knights, you know what I mean? So again, it's kind of just like, things can happen where he loses control. It's kind of just like if he's pushed over the edge, you know what I mean? And then it's just like all hell breaks loose, you know what I mean? But he tries to keep himself really disciplined to prevent that. So it's kind of just like an ongoing situation. And this is really interesting because the energy that I'm getting is like shit wants to break out. You know what I mean? His nature wants to break out. His essence wants to break out. Whatever like that psychopathic essence is. <laughs> but what's being shown to me is that he really tries to keep it under control again. You know what I mean? But it's like the littlest thing can push him over the edge. So... Basically, yeah, he's a psychopath. Allegedly, right? Because <laughs> of YouTube purposes. Okay. So, my next question is, is Mark Wings a murderer? <laughs> I told you, these questions are crazy. So, let's see. Is Mark Wings a murderer? Commitment. This is deep. This commitment it has to do with his family. It has to do with um, his money. It has to do with his wife, right? So that's what he's committed towards. But again, let's get a deeper look because it's not telling me if he's a murderer. This Queen of Swords, right? This is showing me, I mean, excuse me, this Queen of Wands. What's being shown to me is that this is a, how do I explain it? Because these energies are really deep, but I'm just going to call it as I get it. No, he's not a murderer. You know what I mean? So he might be a psychopath. You know what I mean? He might have sort of like dark natures to him. But this is showing me that, yeah, he's not a murderer. You know what I mean? But again, it is an energy, though, that has to do with like um, spell work. So it's kind of just like, I'll just put it this way. This is kind of like while I'm like not stuttering, but like can't speak straight because the energies are kind of complicated. He's not a murderer, but if he has to make ritual sacrifice for whatever reason, he's going to do it. And it's kind of just like his way of enjoying himself. So it's kind of like, you know, he's not going to be out in the street, like snatching bitches up, doing worse. He ain't going to be doing all of that. But this is kind of like a situation of like, if a ritual requires it, you know what I mean? If whatever spiritual entity he might be fucking with requires it, he's definitely going to be enjoying himself. But this has shown me that he's just committed to his life. He's committed to his family. He's committed to himself. He's committed to business. And this has shown me as well that he's committed to spirituality. You know what I mean? That's all I'm going to say about the spirituality because it's really deep. But yeah. <laughs> but no, he's not a murderer. The next question is, <clears throat> this is a deep question, it's kind of crude, but has Mark Wings fucked, fucked Joel Bruner? <laughs> has he had sexual relations with this Joel Bruner guy? <laughs> yeah, they've hooked up. <laughs> They've definitely hooked up. This wild card energy is an uncontrollable energy. This is something that's like unpredictable. This is kind of just like when people don't have any self-control. So it's funny that this came up. This is showing me like an energy. I'm going to be real with you guys. And I don't know why I get this like scenery. It's kind of just like hanging out at the house for whatever reason on the couch. That's like the visuals that I'm getting. And then it's kind of just like 
you know, doing what you got to do. <laughs> Let's look into the energies further and see what this deck shows. But yeah, they definitely hooked up. That's hilarious to me. This is a funny ass read. All right. This Eight of Cups. This is showing me a volatile energy. This is definitely showing me a volatile energy. Not just that, but I'm getting that this is actually um, Mark Weens and this is Joel Brunner or Brenner, whatever, however the hell you pronounce it. This is showing me that they get into fights, they have their own situations, they have strife, and it's kind of just like Mark Weens is the one that called it quits. <laughs> So this is kind of just like, yo, dude, I'm out. Like, I'm not about this life. It is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Don't fuck with me. I don't know, like, if they're friends or whatever. But this is the energy of kind of just, like, stay back. That's what I'm definitely getting. You know what I mean? And I'm getting at this um, Joel guy. His feelings are hurt. But <laughs> it is what it is. Very fascinating energies. So let's see. Does Mark Ween, so the next question is, does Mark Ween still enjoy making content for YouTube? Ooh, that's a good question. So let's see, does Mark Ween still enjoy making content for YouTube? The fact that this is a sign and it went back in, hmm, this isn't such a good sign because it's kind of just like he's contemplating like doing something else so it's kind of showing me that he's not really enjoying it so much see with this knight of wands knight is about four movement or the knights with this situation of like the horse kind of like standing up and looking back it's like he wants to do something else but again that looking back is showing me instinctively because the animals has to do with um instinct he knows that his place is where he's at, you know what I mean? So I guess it's YouTube. He knows like intuitively that's where he needs to be at. But with this um, human, this person looking towards the future, it's kind of just like him as a person, um, his ego, you know what I mean? He's definitely done. He's kind of just like, fuck, I want to like move forward. I want to do something else. But intuitively, because animals have to do with intuition and all that, he knows that he needs to stay where his ass is at. So I'm assuming that's because that's where his moneymaker is at. So he's like, yeah. So that's interesting. My next, or the next question is, what is Mark Wayne's true nature? That is another good question. This guy is a bit of an asshole, is his true nature. I gotta call it as I get it, right? Cause this is like um, cop energy. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like, he does his duties. You know what I mean? He feels like whatever, I don't know what his duties are, but it's kind of just like, he takes his duties seriously, right? So it's kind of just like, you know, whatever his duties are, I'm assuming it's being married. I'm assuming it's his business, whatever, and other shit that I don't know. He takes those things very serious, but at the same time, it's like he's an asshole. You know how, like, cops are an asshole, how they kind of have, like, power trips and shit? This is showing me a man with a power trip. This is definitely showing me a man with, like, a shitty ego is what I'm getting. Let's look and see what this deck shows. So, yeah, it's showing me a dude that's kind of like a jackass. I'm definitely getting jackass energy. So it's like, yeah, he's committed to his goals, to his shit, but he's an asshole. This rag to riches, or rags to riches. This has to do with um, his youth. I don't know what was going on, like with his family. I don't know, like if, cause sometimes, like let's just say like people can come from a family that's well off, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they were enjoying the fruits of like whatever their parents' money was. So this racks to riches is kind of just like money is a situation to him. He doesn't like being insecure as far as money. He trips about money. And this is fascinating because this was showing up kind of like early in a reading that like his money and his business and all that. He takes that shit very serious, right? And it's kind of just like he doesn't want 
I guess, poverty or a lack of funds to come full circle again to kind of like repeat in his life where he goes without. So he's definitely a person that's worried about that. This is also showing me he trips about money. It doesn't even have to be like a big deal. But for him, money is an issue. Money is definitely an issue. Even if he has it, he's still tripping off of it. Like he wants more. He doesn't want to be insecure in any way regarding money. So let's see what this deck shows. Am I going to take it? Is it a lot of cards? No, it's three cards. I could take it. This King of uh, Wands with restrictions. He has a lot of restriction in his life. He's a person that's not free. And this was interesting because, like, earlier I was picking up the energies of his essence that things wants to come out. But he's dealing with a lot of restrictions because the King of Wands, right? Again, it's kind of like the master because, again, the Kings has to do with, like, mastery of, like, their particular position. And the wands is always about, like, operating, like, doing shit. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like if this dude wants to do something, he's going to, like, go and do it. But at the same time, this restriction is showing me that he has to restrict himself. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like, I don't know, I'm getting a very strong sort of, like, Saturnian energy. I don't know, like, his zodiac signs or, like, his chart or anything like that. I don't know anything about this dude. But this is showing me kind of like that Saturn type of energy. of kind, of, But it's, like, really heavy on him. Where it's kind of like he can't be himself. Because he's always in fear and he's always trying to, like, be on top of shit. With this king of... This is deep, right? Because this was the king of wands. This guy, he's... He's a boss dude. Like, I'm not even going to, like, say less about him. Because it's kind of just, like, the fact that he, all these kings are showing up is showing me that this guy, he operates as a king. This guy is not a fool. This guy is not an idiot. This guy is serious about his shit. You know what I mean? But again, with this purification, with this king of swords, it has to do with his mind, right? So it's kind of just, like... Yeah, people aren't perfect because, you know, like in the reading it's showing me like he has issues like trying to control shit. But at the same time, as you can see, like he hasn't been on the news to my knowledge of doing anything crazy. So it's kind of just like he's really on top of shit. You know what I mean? He tries to keep his mind pure and under control. He tries to fight dark urges. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like also what's being shown to me. There is dark energy around him. You know, I don't know what his practices are. I don't know, like, who's around him. It showed that his lady is into spell work. But this is showing me that he has issues as well with dark forces trying to penetrate his um, heart. His existence is what I'm getting. So he has to kind of just, like, control himself. That's why he's, like, you know, really serious about controlling shit. What this ascendancy is showing me, this is a person that dealt with a lot of trauma in his life. You know what I mean? This is definitely a lot of trauma. So it's kind of just like, yeah, he wants to do new things, but he's reluctant to do new things. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like he wants to try new things, but then he gets caught up in his head because the swords has to do with the mind, has to do with thinking. This position here has to do with the future. This position here has to do with the past. I should have done that. <laughs> but anyway, this is showing me that he wants to do new things, but he's emotional about it because all this water and shit. So it kind of keeps him stagnant. You know what I mean? It's operating in his lower nature because you see this um, black situation here. I don't know what the hell that is, if that's a creature, an entity, whatever. But it's kind of just like, again, I mean the vibe of lower nature. So it's kind of just like his lower nature keeps him from um, ascending doing things differently but hey if it works for you right because i mean reading the energies it might seem like it's like oh that sucks but to be honest if you survive doing the same shit you know what i mean if things aren't being shook up and i mean continue doing the same shit <laughs> so let's see the next question is what is mark wayne's opinion regarding joelle bruner <laughs> or joe or joelle this is going to be interesting. Spice things up. <laughs> this is an interesting energy, right? Because it's kind of, it was showing me like earlier that he doesn't want to have anything to do with him. 
But those nights that they spent together, I don't know why this going to sound gross, but it is what it is. Those back shots that he was giving Joel is kind of just like still in his head. It's still in his mind. He's kind of just like, fuck, like that shit gets him off. It's exciting to him. You know what I mean? So this is showing me an energy of kind of just like, <laughs> like, you know, they have volatile situations, but you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like a sexy thing for him. And it's, and, it excites him. Let's see what this deck shows. This King of Pentacles. This guy, I'm going to be real, he wants to live an alternative lifestyle. You know what I mean? He wants to, like, be into all sorts of shit, but he can't really be comfortable because his money situation. So this is showing me, like, the reason why he fucked with Joel Bruner is kind of just, like, the right time like the right situation this is showing me like he doesn't just like go to like i don't know what you call it but like sex clubs or sex apps looking for like you know different situations because of his money it's kind of just like that guy you know what i mean it's kind of just like he was in the right position you know what i mean the right moment for basically um, mark to like explore you know what i mean and live his best life I guess but that's his um opinion regarding like the situation so it's kind of just like you know basically he wants to keep things under control but it's kind of just like he still considers this dude because it's kind of just like an easy option for him to fuck with but at the same time he has to be reserved again that reserved energy I thought this was definitely a funny fucking reading. I thought it was very insightful. Definitely press the thumbs up if you made it this far. Yeah, I thought it was a good uh, reading. <laughs> if you have any um, questions regarding like what I offer, what I do and all of that, definitely email me how to go about that will be in the description box. If you would like to have a reading with me, how to go about that as well will be in the description box. And if you would like me to have a reading on any celebrity, um, YouTube person, how to go about that as well will be in the description box. Peace and abundance.